The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. Our first reading is from the first letter of St. John. Children, this is the final hour. You have heard that the Antichrist is coming, and how many Antichrists have already come. From this we know that it is the final hour. They've gone from among us, but they never really belonged to us. If they had belonged to us, they would have stayed with us. But this was to prove that not one of them belonged to us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One and have all received knowledge. I've written to you not because you are ignorant of the truth, but because you are well aware of it, and because no lie can come from the truth. And our response is taken from Psalm 96. Sing a new song to Yahweh. Sing to Yahweh all the earth. Sing to Yahweh, bless His name. Proclaim His salvation day after day. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that it holds. Let the countryside exalt and all that is in it. And all the trees of the forest cry out for joy at Yahweh's approach. For He is coming, coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with saving justice and the nations with constancy. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being. Not one thing came into being except through Him. What has come into being in Him was life, life that was the light of men. And light shines in darkness, and darkness could not overpower it. A man came sent by God. His name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness to the light so that everyone might believe through him. He was not the light. He was to bear witness to the light. The Word was the real light that gives light to everyone. He was coming into the world. He was in the world that had come into being through him, and the world did not recognize him. He came to his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God, to those who believed in His name, who were born not from human stock or human desire or human will, but from God Himself. The Word became flesh. He lived among us, and we saw His glory, the glory that He has from the Father as the only Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. John witnesses to Him. He proclaims, This is the one of whom I said, He who comes after me is passed ahead of me, because He existed before me. Indeed, from His fullness we have all of us received one gift replacing another. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth have come through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is the only Son who is close to the Father's heart who has made Him known. The Gospel of the Lord.